Good morning, Modern Stutters. This morning, we're going to answer the age-old question. What's the best way to make homemade mayo? When I've been researching homemade mayo, there's just so many recipes out there, different types of equipment to use. Do you use just the egg yolk? Do you use the whole egg? You're using a raw egg. Oh my gosh, should we be using a raw egg? The whole raw egg, not raw egg thing. I don't worry about that. We have our own farm fresh pasture raised eggs, so I'm not worried about the raw egg pot. But what I want to know is, does making mayo with just the egg yolk better than using a whole egg? And what works better, an emulsion blender or a food processor? We have our pasture to plate three day whole hog culinary class coming up. So we've got some new equipment for that as you can see. So we're gonna use them today and experiment. So to make our homemade mayo, you're gonna need some white wine vinegar. You're gonna want a kind of oil that doesn't have any flavor. You're not gonna to wanna to use an olive oil. We're using avocado oil, a good healthy oil for you. You can use a peanut oil if you'd like. You're gonna want lemon juice, half of a lemon. Lime juice works also. We're gonna be using regular mustard. Some people like using Dijon mustard. You're gonna need eggs, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar. You're gonna either need an emulsion blender and a jar. And we're gonna be using our food processor. In the food processor, we're gonna do two whole eggs. We're gonna add one teaspoon of mustard. Just get that mixed up a little bit. I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of avocado oil. I'm gonna put our food processor on low and I'm gonna drizzle the oil in nice and slowly. Looks so nice. It's nice and thick. Now at this point, I want to flavor it. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of lemon juice. A pinch of Himalayan salt. We'll make that too. And a pinch of sugar. The reason I'm adding the sugar is to give you that familiar sweetness that you're gonna get from a grocery store mayonnaise. And I'm gonna put it back on low. It might sound a little counterintuitive, but if it's not as thick as you would like it, add a little bit more oil. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, it's a little bit thicker now. It's got that nice consistency we were going for. That's good. Let's try an emulsion blender now with just two egg yolks. For the emulsion blender, we're using a wide mouth three cup ball jar. We're gonna use just the egg yolks. Let's get a bowl for this. This is why a lot of people like to use the whole egg. That way they don't have to separate it out. We're gonna add one teaspoon of mustard.
two teaspoons of lemon juice. Two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. A pinch of sugar to taste. And a pinch of pink Himalayan salt to taste. With the emulsion blender, you want to put all your ingredients in there together. And you want to cover the egg yolk with your emulsion blender. You want to put it on low, keep the yolk covered. And as you see it emulsifying, we'll slowly pick up our blender. You can see it all emulsifying and coming together. That's pretty wild. You can feel it thickening up. How oh, that's so nice and thick. Let's give this one a try. Delicious. Mm. You can't compare that to store-bought and super easy. So for the conclusion, let's see. This is yolks only with the emulsion blender. And this one was the whole egg in the food processor. Let's compare the two with taste. Taste wise, they're pretty much the same. Texture wise, the whole egg is a little bit smoother. You can see a huge color difference. The one on the left is the whole egg and the one on the right is just the yolk. So if you're going for looks and you want a store-bought color looking mayonnaise, I recommend going with the whole egg because you get more of a whiter mayonnaise that way. And if you're going for just the yolks, you're gonna get more of a yellow one. We're also using pasture raised farm fresh eggs. That's gonna make a big difference because our yolks are very orange. Farm fresh eggs, if you compare them side by side with a store bought egg, which we don't have any here, you're almost, you're almost like a white the color of the yolk of a store bought. It's very pale where a farm fresh egg is almost like a bright orange, which is loaded with more nutrients and more flavor. So if you want a good flavorful mayonnaise, definitely try a pasture raised farm fresh egg. Comparing the emulsion blender to the food processor, my choice is next time I'm gonna be using the emulsion blender. The reason why I liked using the emulsion blender better is you had a feel for it. You could feel when the oil was emulsifying and they were becoming together and thickening up. With a food processor, you can listen, but you can't hear it that good. The other thing with the emulsion blender, it's easier to clean up. Take this off, bring it over to the sink, put it in the dishwasher, you're good to go. You've already made it in your jar. Put the cover on your jar, stick it in the fridge. With my food processor, I gotta scrape this all out now. I'm gonna put it into this jar, and then I gotta wash this. So why go through the hassle? Next time, emulsion blender. We learned an awesome lesson. A really nice thing about homemade mayonnaise is you can add your flavors to it. If you like garlic, Depending on what dish you're making and what you're having it with, you could add garlic to it, you could add basil, whatever herbs and spices you like. If you like it hot, you could put some hot sauce in there. That'd be good. What I was thinking, I was like, man, you know what I should have done? Let me show you. We've been tapping our maple trees here at Lumna Acres. We have nice, fresh maple syrup. I should have sweetened mine with maple syrup. And tell me that wouldn't go good on a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomato with mayonnaise that has maple syrup in it. Oh, that's what we're gonna be doing this summer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna combine the two, I'm gonna mix them together, 
and we're gonna drizzle in some maple syrup. Let's get crazy. The other thing too with fresh homemade mayonnaise, there's no preservatives in it, so it's gonna last a week in your refrigerator. It's so easy to make, so after a week, if you haven't used it all, which I'm sure you probably will, make another batch. And the other nice thing is you can make as much as you need at a time. You don't need to make a whole three cups of it. Make one cup at a time. This right here is going to be delicious. A little bit of maple syrup. Ah, let's go a little bit more. Yes. Man, I outdid myself there. Oh man, I wish it was lunch. That's making me hungry. For lunch today, I'm gonna have a ham and cheese sandwich on fresh homemade bread with, you got it, maple flavored mayonnaise. Oh. We always loved having BLTs here. We raise our own pigs here at Lumna Acres. So we have homemade, home cured bacon. Oh. Man, we got our hog harvesting three-day class coming up here in two more weeks. Our tomatoes are in the basement, started from seed. Can't come soon enough. But this is a game changer. Oh, if you have the opportunity to make your own homemade mayonnaise, put a little bit of maple syrup in there. What a difference. It gives you that sweet and tangy. You got the tanginess from the vinegar and the mustard. That maple syrup gives it a nice sweetness. Wow, I ruined it. I ruined store-bought mayonnaise. Never again can I enjoy that. <sighs> this is why we have our modern homestead. We do it for the best food we can provide for our family. It's just fun, it's good. I mean, everybody thinks mayonnaise is bad for you. But that right there, that's almost like a health elixir right here. We have great avocado oil in it. We got lemon juice, mustard, some Himalayan pink salt, which is good for you, loaded with nutrients. If you don't want to use regular sugar, you don't have to. Flavor with some maple syrup. I mean, pasture raised eggs, you can't go wrong with any of those ingredients. As long as it's made correct, that's health food right there for you. <sighs> I'm hungry, my belly's growling. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope I didn't make you too hungry. Actually, you know what, I hope I made you very hungry and I hope I made it so you wanna get into your kitchen and make some delicious food. It's good for your soul. It's good for my soul. It's good to get the kids into the kitchen. I wish Olivia was here and Gina, but we'll have another opportunity to do it. We're making stuff like this at our three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class. Man, I'm excited. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and now homemade maple flavored mayonnaise. Bye. In conclusion, I just got done cleaning up the mess. This is like the real nitty and gritty stuff that matters. I just picked up the mess for making our homemade mayonnaise. The immersion blender took about two seconds to clean up. I put some hot soapy water in a bowl, immersed the blender in it, turned it on for about 10 seconds, cleaned it off, good to go. The food processor, I had to take a pot, soak it with water. It was a pain. And now I'm gonna put it in the dishwasher, which is fine, but the immersion blender, perfect. It's already in the jar. I know I said that before, but it's already in the jar. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. We're done, bada boom, bada bing. On Amazon, I picked this up. They were doing a sale, we got it for 15 bucks. I think they're normally, they're normally pretty expensive, but there's a lot less expensive models out there. But keep an eye, Amazon's always running deals. Same with our food processor. We picked that up for like a quarter of the price of what it normally sells for on Amazon. Don't know why, but. So if you're looking to get any of this stuff, search around, look for it. You can get good prices for it. And I recommend an immersion blender. 
the first time we've had one here at Lumna Acres, and I'm glad we have it now.